Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Nikon FE2. It was made from 1983 to 1987. On June 5th, 1989, Jeff Widener of the Associated Press got one of the most widely distributed pictures of the so-called Tank Man, the protester who stood in front of one of the tanks at Tiananmen Square. He used an FE2 and a Nikkor 400mm lens with a 2x uh, telephoto extender. He took it from his hotel room because he'd been injured during an earlier protest. Has a uh, titanium bladed shutter, goes from eight seconds to one four thousandth of a second plus bulb. The one two hundred fiftieth of a second setting is manual uh, if your batteries run dead or something like that. It's also the speed that it'll do uh, flash sync center weighted uh, through the lens metering uses a match needle you can see in the viewfinder in aperture priority mode um, it just shows you where you're at whether you're over or under in manual mode it'll show you what it thinks is a properly exposed picture then the other needle on the shutter uh, shows where you have the camera set you can see the aperture numbers right off the lens at the very top of the viewfinder like I said, it's aperture, priority, or full manual. Uses uh, F-mount lenses, uh, as long as they're the auto-indexing, the AI lenses, or the E-series. Uses pretty common batteries, the uh, S76 or uh, A76, LR44, or SR44 for the silver oxide version. Uh, interchangeable focusing screens. This one has the stock one with the uh, three millimeter uh, split focus and it has a uh, the matte screen around that and then it also has uh, an etched area that shows you the portion of the view where it's doing the uh, the metering this is the uh, shutter speed when the film wind is all the way in like this it's not running the meter and draining the battery you got to remember to have it in this offset position then it's metering and ready to go uh, film rewind and your film speed. You can also do uh, plus or minus 2 EV of uh, exposure compensation. Self timer. One thing that's nice if you're using an old lens, uh, this lever does your depth of field preview. So you can see, you know, uh, before you take the shot, what it's going to look like. Uh, it's a rugged camera. It's a blast. I got lucky and got one in really, really good shape. So I'll shoot another couple rolls through it, and I'll see you then.